A California song, a prophecy and indirection, a thought impalpable to breathe as air, a chorus of dryads fading, departing, a hamadryads departing, a murmuring fateful giant voice out of the earth and sky, voice of a mighty dying tree in the redwood forest dense. Farewell, my brethren. Farewell, O earth and sky. Farewell, ye neighboring waters. My time has ended, my term has come. Along the northern coast, just back from the rock-bound shores and caves, in the saline air from the sea in Mendocino County, with the surge for bass and accompaniment, low and hoarse, with crackling blows of axes sounding musically, driven by strong arms, Riven deep by the sharp tongues of the axes, There, in the redwood forest dense, I heard the mighty tree its death chant chanting. The choppers heard not, the camp shanties echoed not, The quick-eared teamsters and chain and jack-screw men heard not, As the wood spirits came from their haunts of a thousand years To join the refrain. But in my soul... I plainly heard, murmuring out of its myriad leaves, down from its lofty top, rising two hundred feet high, out of its stalwart trunk and limbs, out of its foot-thick bark, the chant of the seasons and time, chant not of the past only, but the future. You untold life of me, and all you venerable and innocent joys, perennial hardy life of me with joys mid rain and many a summer sun, and with white snows and night and the wild winds. Oh, the great patient rugged joys, my soul strong joys, unwrecked by man. For no I bear the soul befitting me, I too have consciousness, identity, and all the rock and mountains have, and all the earth, joys of the life befitting me and brothers mine, our time, our term, has come. Nor yield we mournfully, majestic brothers, we who have grandly filled our time with nature's calm content, with tacit huge delight. We welcome what we wrought for through the past, and leave the field for them. For them predicted long, for a superber race, they too too grandly filled their time. For them we abdicate, in them ourselves, ye forest kings. In them these skies and airs, these mountain peaks, Shasta, Nevadas, these huge precipitous cliffs, this amplitude, these valleys, far Yosemite, to be in them absorbed, assimilated, then, to a loftier strain, still prouder, more ecstatic, rose the chant, as if the airs, the deities of the West, joining with master tongue, bore part. Not one from Asia's fetishes, nor read from Europe's old dynastic slaughterhouse, area of murder plots of thrones, with scent left yet of wars and scaffolds everywhere. But come from nature's long and harmless throes, peacefully builded thence, these virgin lands, lands of the western shore, to the new culminating man, to you, the new empire, you promised long, we pledge, we dedicate, you occult deep volitions, you average spiritual manhood, purpose of all, poised on yourself, giving, not taking law, you womanhood divine, mistress and source of all, whence life and love and aught that comes from life and love, you unseen moral essence of all the vast materials of America, age upon age, working in death the same as life, you that sometimes known, oftener unknown, really shape and mold the new world, adjusting it to time and space. You, hidden national, 
lying in your abyss, concealed but ever alert. You past and present purposes tenaciously pursued may be unconscious of yourselves, unswerved by the passing errors, perturbations of the surface. You vital, universal, deathless germs beneath all creeds, arts, statues, literatures. Here build your home for good. Establish here these areas entire, lands of the western shore. We pledge, we dedicate to you. For man of you, your characteristic race, here may he hardy, sweet, gigantic grow, here tower proportionate to nature, here climb the vast pure spaces unconfined, unchecked by wall or roof, here laugh with storm or sun, here joy, here patiently inure, here heed himself, unfold himself, not others' formulas heed, here fill his time, to duly fall, to aid, unwrecked at last, to disappear, to serve. Thus, on the northern coast, in the echo of teamsters' calls, and the clinking chains, and the music of choppers' axes, the falling trunk and limbs, the crash, the muffled shriek, the groan, such words combined from the redwood tree, as of voices ecstatic, ancient, and rustling, the century-lasting, unseen dryads singing, withdrawing, all their recesses of forest and mountains leaving, from the Cascade Range to the Wasatch, or Idaho Far, or Utah, to the deities of the modern henceforth yielding, the chorus and indications, the vistas of coming humanity, the settlements, features all, in the Mendocino woods I caught. The flashing and golden pageant of California, the sudden and gorgeous drama, the sunny and ample lands, the long and varied stretch from Puget Sound to Colorado South, lands bathed in sweeter, rarer, healthier air, valleys and mountain cliffs, the fields of nature long prepared and fallow, the silent, cyclic chemistry, the slow and steady ages plodding, the unoccupied surface ripening, the rich ores forming beneath, at last the new arriving, assuming, taking possession, a swarming and busy race settling and organizing everywhere, ships coming in from the whole round world and going out to the whole world, to India and China and Australia and the thousand island paradises of the Pacific, populous cities, the latest inventions, the steamers on the rivers, the railroads, with many a thrifty farm, with machinery, and wool, and wheat, and the grape, and diggings of yellow gold. But more in you than these, lands of the western shore, these but the means, the implements, the standing ground, I see in you, certain to come, the promise of thousands of years, till now deferred, promised to be fulfilled, our common kind, the race, the new society at last, proportionate to nature, in man of you, more than your mountain peaks, or stalwart trees imperial, in woman more, far more, than all your gold or vines, or even vital air, fresh come, to a new world indeed, yet long prepared, I see the genius of the modern, child of the real and ideal, clearing the ground for broad humanity, the true America, heir of the past so grand to build a grander future. <laughs>